Hi guys, Rick Demuth with Cowtown USA here in a little town called Cuba, Missouri. Right on Interstate 44, just what are we, southeast of uh, south, get my head on here, right? Southwest of St. Louis, right off Interstate 44. In fact, you can see the traffic going by as we're videoing. This is a 2020, year of our Lord, 2020. Eight wide, seven, six tall, 15 foot short wall, 14 foot horse compartment with a nice air conditioned and heated mid tack. Okay, some of the some of the upgrades: dual jacks, dual hydraulic jacks, power awning, fully armor plated. You know, some of the bigger names, bigger brands out there, like Four Star, like Bloomer, are armor plated from front to back. Not only does it look good, which it really does, it's um, it's got to make the trailer last longer. It's got to make the trailer more rigid, stronger, or they wouldn't build it. Okay, I mentioned power awning, all LED lighting on the outside, speakers, radio speakers inside and outside. Uh, well, there's a big outfit pulling in. All right, bring you here. Triaxle, 21,000 capacity, 17.516 ply radials. This is made for the guy that wants to go down the road and not have a blown tire alongside the interstate. This is made for the mountains. You need an extra brake axle. It doesn't help you any time. I mean, it doesn't hurt you. It doesn't hurt you to have this any time is what I should say got your your plexi lining or your lexan they call it horse ties inside horse ties outside okay now i'm going to take you through here and show you this completely mold resistant lining saddle rack, saddle racks are removable and we'll move into the horse compartment now we've i've talked about this heat ducted and ac ducted into the mid tack so if you've got somebody that wants to Throw uh, an airbag or cot or something in here. You got the bathroom on the inside of that door right there, so they have access to the bathroom without waking anybody or crawling on top of anybody. Okay, I could walk up in there and show you, but I'm just going to take you around here in the back. Give you a look see. I'm sure you've already seen the pictures, but here again, dual load lights over the top of this. Just upgrade, upgrade. But all that means to you is just everything's just going to work better. Are they the cheapest? No. Most of the people that, that we order trailers for, and this is how we learn to order ours because they'll order these upgrades. They're going to live in it and they want to be able to use it and have lights. Pass through the door into the mid tack, upgrade it to the roof fence in the ceiling, slam center gate, 14 foot from this wall to the back end. Every, every up, well, both sides of the post. You can see there, probably got it too close, but I'll step around here. Shows your slide out on that side, your full folding ramp on this side. Another load light on this side. It's your escape door. Okay. Close this. Here's the feature. I'm using one hand locked. And a key lock here. No more padlocks. The other deal. The uh, not only are these hinges thick and heavy, but also riveted and welded. Riveted and welded. Brake lights, tail lights high and low. Car behind you, three cars behind you see this, semi behind them sees this. Just keeps keeps everybody from getting in a in a pile up. Now, this is an all aluminum. This is the charger. And I'm gonna show you even under the living quarters. Aluminum. Get those four inch beams like a four star. 
we take you around this other side. Dual hydraulic jacks. You got your fresh water connection here and your city water. So if you don't need to haul water, you can haul it. If you can hook up to the water holes on premises, you can put it right there. All right, now I'll take you around the inside, show you some pretty neat features in there. Okay. All right, first thing you're going to see here is a sliding screen door. So in the fall, you don't need that screen, or in the winter, you don't have to deal with it. Second thing you're going to see is this has been upgraded to solid hickory and access doors for storage underneath your underneath your dinette. Now, if they don't have doors there, guys, there will be a vinyl wrap on this model. So this is upgraded to have these doors and the solid hickory, and I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about. On the vinyl wrap, you'll see an extra little strip here. This shows you this is solid hickory. Let's fold these doors up. All right. Storage, storage, hanging closet for the bed. Okay, I'm just going to back up here and kind of give you a view from the bed. This couch folds down, makes a bed. Trimmed in gator. Gator balances. Same way here. Soft shades. Stereo, and I guess that's what you call a DVD if that's what they do these days. It's the most modern thing you can get. Again, solid hickory, flat screen TV that's swinging around so you can actually watch it from the bed. Lots of counter space. Now, this particular unit has got a fireplace in it. And I'll tell you a little bit about it and the benefit of that instead of just saying, oh, that's over the top. Uh, there's, there's a huge benefit to have it. Okay, I like this nice handrail coming down out of the bed. Great, great feature. Okay, close this door so you won't get the glare. Just park my keys here on the couch. Kind of give you a look see from here. Lots. The first thing you're going to see, guys, is lots and lots of walking around room. Not could you step back so I could get through but lots of walk around room. One of the shortest trailers with the most amount of room that you can get. Okay. You can see your, your heat's ducted down to the floor as well as your AC ducted in the ceiling. And the floor is really pretty. In fact, this with this hickory interior, this is very, very pretty on the inside. Okay. Upgraded to your convection microwave. So bacon bread, pizza, baked turkey, chicken, whatever you do, however you want to bake. Recessed cooktop. Extra light. And you have your fan. Dual. Uh, stainless steel sinks. Now, since we upgraded this convection microwave, we were able to do away with the traditional gas oven. So you can serve your gas for, the, uh, for your hot water or for your... Uh, for your furnace. Do your cooking on the on the electric as far as gas. Okay, now this has got your bigger fridge in. This has got your freezer on top. This runs on gas and it runs on electric. Either way. And you can see exactly how it works. Alright, so you got your your uh, pocket sliding door. Now the benefit of the pocket sliding door is is you can stand right here washing dishes and don't have to step back out of the way for a swinging door. This doesn't swing, this slides. Huge, huge benefit. Take in here, nice vanity, dual mirrors. Yep. Nice, a nice size um, bathroom, not overbuilt. But quite a bit going on here. Your power fan, we'll talk about that, but I want to show you here. Drawer, 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 storage. Nice hanging closet. There's your command center, and I'll talk to you a little bit about that too. 
I think that's all Bluetoothed. More storage, more storage, more storage. And that's what I've found in these, in these trailers, in these campers. You can't get too much storage. I've never had anybody come in and complain, hey, I'm going to have to go buy more stuff to, to, to fill up what, all the storage. If you're going to be gone days, it's good to have it. You've got a skylight over the top of that, of that shower, nice frosted glass. So, I mean, you don't spend your time trying to keep it sparkling clean because it water spots. This camouflages that, lets you enjoy yourself. Okay. Now let's talk about this power vent. You can actually set the temperature here. If you want it to 70 or 72, you can take that and set that on that, and this fan will open. You open the windows beside your bed or, or up here beside the couch, like that one right there. Kick this on, and, and it acts like an attic fan. Is exactly what it does. Cools it off, closes up. Starts warm back up, opens up during the night. Especially if you're down around the river bottom camping, you'll be pulling covers in the morning if you don't set this. If you just turn it on, you'll definitely be pulling covers. Okay, now what else can we talk about here? Big fridge, gas, electric, storage under. We talked about all the storage in the bathroom. More storage here. Drawers, drawers, drawers. Let's back up here. More storage above. We got more storage here. So we've got storage in closets. Up, even more. Storage here. Okay, now I'm going to turn this air conditioner off and I'm going to show you this. We're going to talk about this in a minute. Okay. Let's turn this on. Now, what this does, this is not just something that's, that's pretty, even though the, it is that as well. You set your temperature on 72 or 74, or whatever you want it. This will kick on. You can see the vent at the bottom of it. This will heat your camper. So if you're at a, at a campground, they're charging you per night. You turn your gas furnace down, and you, you use what you you use their electric. So it's it it will save you the propane in in your tanks is what it amounts to. Plus it looks good. And just like I did, it's here in the summer. I got it kicked on there just to kind of show you what it would look like. See the ducking to the left of it, ducking underneath it. See the gator top. Now this also dinette makes into a bed. Here's your gator trim. Gator accent. I mean, it, it does look nice. It does look nice. This is not, I mean, I can order you cheaper Lakota even this same size. It just won't have the, it just won't have the fireplace. It won't have the, the ducted AC or the, or, you know, it won't have the ducted AC or the heat into the mid-tack or the, or the side ramp. I mean, that side ramp works out well. You can you can roll your, your hay, your feed, your your whatever up that side ramp. And then it's something else. You can walk up that side ramp and reach your saddles. You're not standing on the ground. And I'll just show you. You're not standing on the ground trying to heist them up over your head. Some lights on here. Pretty handy to have, guys. I mean, I'm looking down on them. Just walk it up that ramp. Come up here and get your saddles. Pretty handy to have. Pretty handy to have. Everything mold resistance. Well, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to head back into here. I don't know what else I can tell you. It's all lunar, all lunar frame, floor. It's all there. All your controls are here. That brings it up. Punch in your code, zero. My finger's a little damp here. Oh, you got to push the right place. I'm sorry. I made that look a lot harder than what it was. Okay, I want to, uh, I've got the awning out there. So I'm going to click here. 
and I'm just going to roll the awning in. I mean, no sense, you know, taking a chance and going to town and come back your awning blowed off. Just roll that up. So we're set. All your, now once this is turned on, you control your lights on the inside, high and low, just like that. I think this is what's uh, Bluetooth too. I think you could actually turn your lights on and off. Uh, on and off from uh, from your phone. Well, that's welcome to the welcome to the real world. I guess is what I'm or the world of tomorrow. I don't know what you would what you would call it. Anyway, give us a call at Cowtown. We'll be glad to help you in any way we can. 573-885-6300. 573-885-6300. Ask for uh, Sean or Jack or me or any of us to be able to help you. And we have lots of trailers here in stock at Cowtown. Right now in 2000, uh, we just finished 18. We are the largest horse trailer dealer in the uh, in this in the state of Missouri. So you see back over there, lots of used trailers. So give us a call, 573-885-6300. Thank you.